Hey, what's up, guys? Eisenheim here. Um, okay, this is my. <laughs> I found a new way to um, extend calibration. I mean, um, you know, make the transition between two between two your changes uh, a bit longer. Um, okay. Um, you can see here the that's my lego at the bottom right it's an old video of my lemon pie um, the one in the upper left corner and then the the replicate video is the um, uh, the centered intentional centered uh, car you know because my bias is um, I put 0.20 camera offset using Dev C3. Okay, so it's always it's always a bias of center bias. So, so I'm using the knob to center my car in this replicate uh, video. But anyway, so <clears throat> so I've been asking. You know, I put if you if you follow me in my Discord, I um. I asked a question regarding um, how can how can I make calibration longer? The transition, that is, um, <clears throat> because if you find if you if you notice uh, calibration takes if you do manual reset it will take about less than a minute in a freeway setting. Um, you know, uh, so so basically. If you let's say you move your, um, you have two cars, so one, and you only have one C three. So if you move one to to another, if um, if the yaw uh, difference is not that much, it will cry. It will calibrate itself. Okay. This is based on personal testing since I have an adjustable mounting okay now if the change is so big like let's say the yaw is like a three degree or two degree yaw okay or maybe one degree i'm not sure it will say uh a remount has been i mean a difference in mount has been detected and your c3 will automatically start calibrating okay if it's a big yaw change, okay. Being said that, uh, for me, as I use uh, the knob, I, I call it the knob, to place my car anywhere in the lane, I don't want it to calibrate that fast. You know what I'm saying? Because if I move, if my let's say if my if my move if I move my car to get a rate. To get a right bias, I want to keep that right bias for as long as I can. But with a ten, with a ten value of smooth cycles, as you can see in the um, upper right corner, it says twenty thousand right here. This is this is my uh, my current one. But anyway, the default is ten. Okay, how did I find out? Um. So before I've been testing for three years, and if you know if you know me, if you know my channels, I'm the uh, remount king here in Coma Land. Okay, I've I've mounted my Coma device anywhere inside a car, left, right, up, down, well, you name it, upper right corner, upper left corner, you name it. I've did, I did them all. Okay, so you don't have to do it. But anyway. My my main passion is for me is the ability to center my car. Whenever there's a bad model, sometimes the model will be like most of the model is always like left too left biasy for me. But it drives great, but it's just too left biasy. So I just want it to center. You know what I'm saying? And um, um, so I play with the camera offset before before the the Lego contraption. So I play with the camera offset and it works, okay? It works so good that other fork maintainers 
started. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm the first one who played with the camera offset, but I'm pretty sure I'm one of the f- first few people who played with the offset. Um, and now for me, uh, fork maintainers are using, you know, camera offset. You know, it's not officially endorsed by Coma, uh, but it works. Okay, basically you're tricking the um, the um, you're tricking OP because you're basically changing the um, the image placement. Okay, but the thing is, the camera offset only works um, all up to the legacy models, which is Night Strike, Farmville, um, Blue Diamond, New Delhi. Okay, for some reason, LA and um, CHV, CH, cert, uh, Certified Herbalist, doesn't work. I'm pretty sure uh, it's because um, uh, Sunny, Sunny, because I'm using Sunny Pilot, uh, he disabled the, uh, the lane full on those two models. Because we need, you need lane full in order to accomplish this, okay? The yaw the, the trick. Same thing with the camera offset. You need to be in lane full. You need lane lines in order to do this. But anyway, uh, so I was like, okay. I tried with the blocks, how many blocks, the block size, not block size, but uh, um, the input needed. It says here 20, but I think the default is five. So I forgot to change it to five. But anyway, um, it also makes calibration manual calibration longer if you from five blocks to 20 blocks it only makes it also makes it longer but not that long it will only it will accomplish only about two miles worth okay but anyway um so i went back to my old versions that uh that i um that i know that will keep my intentional bias or whatever you call it. For example, that will keep my intention, intentional right bias for a very long time. And it started with 082, 083, all the way to 085, all the way to 091, I think. Okay. So I look at the calibration, that PY. You know the difference between um, the pre o nine the <clears throat> pre o nine one versions. The smooth cycle is set at four hundred. Okay, and the post o nine one models, including the current one, uh, they are set to ten. Okay. I know there's probably there's a reason why, as, as I say, comma, you know, they don't do, they don't use lane full anymore and everything, you know. The faster calibration for them, the better. So I think, you know, it works at 10. So it's at 10. And it's so fast. You, you notice it. The calibration has been fast for the, you know, for quite a while now. You know, from 0 to 100%. But anyway, so, okay. So I was thinking, so from 10... No, from 400 to 10. So what I did is I used the 400 value for smooth cycles, first drive. Oh, it works. Probably around 14 miles. 14 miles, it works. And then it, it went back to the, uh, to, the new, to the new yaw, you know, value. So I made it to 800. Oh, okay. So it keeps it from start to finish. Uh, probably a 20 minute drive. So I was thinking, you know what? There's no error, no nothing. Might as well, you know, break the bank and go for the ridiculous number, which I put 20,000. And lo and behold, I got no errors, no nothing, 
and I can center my car, I can write bias my car. Okay, so as you can see on the um, on the left bottom video. Okay, that's the one I tested with the 20,000 smooth cycles. Okay, and with the um, with the 20,000 smooth cycles, and if you reset your calibration manually from San Francisco to San Diego, it will not, probably it will not reach 100%. You're still manually calibrating. Okay, you get the you get the picture. Okay, you get the picture. This is more advantageous for my setup. Okay. Okay, because as I say, I don't do codes, but I do a lot of testing and a lot of manual testing when it comes to the mounting and everything. Okay, um, and it works. I'm so happy that it works. There's no change in uh, the driving behavior. The driving still smooth as, you know, smooth as hell. Uh, with at, with Night Strike NLP, um, and that's also known as Lemon Pie, and that's the one in the video uh, on the uh, upper uh, left corner. That's Lemon Pie. So yeah, I'm a happy again. I'm a happy camper. I got the best model there is for me. Okay, for my local route. From East Bay to San Francisco, back and forth, in night, day, any time of day, um, you know, raining or what have you, um, and I have the ability to move my car on the, you know, instantly, just with a turn of a knob. That's it. You don't have to go deep into the UI, you know. So while you're dipping into the UI, you're driving, and then you have to look at the road, and still you go to the UI, and you want to change it. You know what I'm saying? No need. All you have to do is just turn a little knob like, you know, like that. That's it. And you're good to go. You know how easy that is. Okay. Now, uh, my setup is rud rudimentary. It's, you know, it's not, uh, you know, um, it's not great, but it's not bad. Okay, this is the only way I know how to do it since I don't 3D print. I don't know. I think I don't. I don't know anything about 3D printing. But if you have, if you if you're a passionate open pilot and a passionate 3D printer who likes like to 3D print, you know, you won't you won't be bad to make yourself a 3D printed C3 case um, that you install over your infotainment system and you can slide you can slide the C3 left and right using a knob okay but very important though guys if you're gonna do my setup or whatever whatever setup that you want to do okay it has to be very very stable okay the setup has to be very stable and the movement of your c3 is very minuscule uh, as you can see with the lego contraption here it only takes one or two gears rotation those uh, th those the teeth i mean not the gears but the teeth a uh, movement i say not rotation but movement one or two that's it to move your you know, to sway the camera. You only need very minuscule amount of movement, okay? That being said, okay, very important, that being said, you have to limit the movement very, you know, you have to limit it because you cannot, you cannot do big movement like you sway it big because your car will sway. You will move to the whatever opposing side, opposing side, you know, saying big time too. If so if you sway to the left, your car will move to the right. Big time. If you sway big time, you know what I'm saying. 
So be, just be very care when it comes to your be very careful because it has a instant effect on the on your car placement. Okay, as I say, that's a, what I'm saying is the setup has to be very very stable. Okay, it doesn't move once you once you move it. Okay, it's locked in there. Okay, it's not gonna go nowhere. Okay. You don't want it. You don't want it. You know, moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So be very careful. Okay. With the Lego, with my Lego, it's it's locked in there. It's not gonna move nowhere. Okay. As you can see, the gear, the warm, and the gear. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm done. I mean, um, I'm gonna concentrate on this one. Okay, to find any more, if there's any bug or something, you know, for putting 20,000 smooth cycles, okay? And as soon as I found out, I will let you guys know. But for now, for now, it's doing great, guys. It's doing great. Um, if you want to do my setup, it's you have to go to my dash mount playlist and you can see my, my journey. A lot of dash mount there. I'm pretty sure I put the Lego, the Lego setup there where you can buy. I'm as pretty much as an Amazon, you know, so you can take a look. Um, I think it's called Gear Gearbox Lego Gearbox, and then you can buy a bunch of parts, you know, to make yourself. And then what I do for the C3 is I have an extra comma mount, so I VHB it underneath. And I super glue a Lego railing with the teeth, you see, as you can see there. So that's how it sway the camera back and forth. Okay. It's preferably you sway it side by side. Okay. You, but for me, I will need a lot of moving parts to accomplish that. But with this one, this, it will accomplish the same thing forward and backward but you know as i say if you're if you're if you're very good at 3d printing if i'm very good at 3d printing i mean with the idea that i with the idea that i have i mean i'm i already have it by now but i'm not so so i i can only do whatever i can at my disposal and but it works though guys it works but anyway, guys, this is Eisenham again. Thank you. Thank you for following, for subscribing. And please do leave a like. Again, may you have uh, exciting and safe testing. Bye.